Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel Creative Grandma. It's yarn swatch time and this week's yarn is called the Big Twist Classic. I was in State College, Pennsylvania at their Joanne Fabric Store and I was taking a walk through the yarn aisle thinking of which yarn could I choose for my next yarn swatch series and I came across the Big Twist Classic. Now this is a 100% acrylic yarn and look how big this skein is. This is a large 8 ounce skein. It's 420 yards, 384 meters, 227 grams. You can also find thousands of project ideas at joann.com's project and you can go to www.joann.com slash big dash twist dash yarns. This is a five bulky weight yarn. It suggests using a size 10J crochet hook and that's the size hook I use to make all my samples today. Now this yarn says machine washable, low iron, do not bleach, and do not tumble dry. Dry clean or dry flat. So this yarn was made in Turkey and this color is called Ocean Abyss. You're going to see almost like a bluish green mixed with a just a touch of white, some light gray, and then a darker gray. Now the one thing I was at Joann's and I had to leave the house pretty quickly because my husband had a meeting wanted me to go along every time i go with them to the state college area i always have to go in the joanne fabric store they have a wonderful yarn selection in the state college pennsylvania store but i didn't get a chance to print my coupons and i said to my husband gary can you pull up a coupon so i thought i had a 20 percent off coupon it said you had to download the app so he downloaded the app and we got to the checkout and it had a coupon code but it didn't have the bar scan code so they would not give me my 25 percent off because they said it had to have the barcode scanner symbol something. So I was a little upset because I spent like $140 on yarn and I had to pay full price. Now I did want to tell you that I just got on Joanne Fabrics website and this particular yarn is now 30% off as a doorbuster online only. So if you like to order your yarn online, you can get this, which regular price is $9.99 a skein, and you can get it for 30% off if you go to their website. Now, I don't have an affiliate link, so you'll just have to go to joannefabrics.com or joannes.com. I'll see if I can copy and paste the link and put it in, but it's not an affiliate link. It's just a courtesy link to help you go see the colors available. They have a lot of sales going on right now on the Big Twist yarn in several varieties. They're cotton, this classic, so you can take a look at all that yarn. Now, the one thing I have to address about this yarn is if if you look closely you can see all this fuzz see all that fuzz I would be afraid to use this for a baby blanket of a newborn baby or any baby that puts stuff in their mouth because when you look at this you can see that if a baby puts this in their mouth I would be so afraid that they would if they you know put it in their mouth too long if this would come off and maybe they would choke on it so I would recommend this for maybe a school age child in elementary school or any child that is old enough that they don't put things in their mouth so that just kind of scared me a little bit when I was working with this yarn I thought wow that's really fuzzy I do believe that this would make an excellent sweater. If you like those cozy, fuzzy sweaters, then this would be the perfect yarn if you like that little bit of fuzziness to your projects. But again, it does have a lot of that fuzziness to it. So let's get started on my first sample. Again, this is the Big Twist Classic. This is the color Ocean Abyss. So here's the yarn and let's take a look at my sample. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit closer this is just a single crochet row and then I did a double crochet cross stitch I use this stitch pattern a lot I'm going to try to hold it up 
there so you can see it. With the variegated yarn, sometimes it's really hard to see the stitch patterns. Single crochet row, then a double cross stitch row, single crochet row, double cross stitch row. So when you look at the sample, you're going to see that it almost creates vertical columns. You're going to see it coming up here, here, here. So let me move my camera out just a little bit more so you can see it a little bit better. So you'll notice there's two different stitch designs on this sample. You'll see that this comes up and then I changed the pattern to just a regular single crochet going back and forth. And then you can see how it almost creates a diagonal pattern across the work. But again, it all depends on how wide your sample is, what stitch pattern you're making, because you could purchase this yarn, use a different stitch pattern, and get a totally different look. But it gives you an idea of what some of these yarns look like when you're working up some of these stitch patterns. So that is my first sample. The second color I chose, now I bought what they had in store. They only had six different colorways in the store, so I bought one of each. I thought this was really pretty. It's bright, bold colors. I love those rainbow colors. You're getting reds, you're getting pink, you're getting yellow, a little bit of orange, some green, blue, a darker purple down here. And you can see how really bright and bold that is. And this is color Fun Bright. So you can see how bright those colors are. So my sample for this color, I just made a regular granny square. And again, these are really short color burst and it really distributes the color all over the place. Now, some of these variegated colors I think would look better, especially this one, if you purchased a coordinating color, one of the solid colors that would match one of these colors and kind of separate this a little bit, either with a ripple stitch or even if you're going back and forth, kind of separate this color because it, it is kind of bright and busy. But you cannot even hardly see the granny square. All you're doing is focusing on these bright colors. But the center is the granny square. And then I finished it off by just working single crochet around and around and around because I wanted to see the effect it would have if you're doing a single crochet around and around. So this is what my sample looks like with the granny square in the center and then those single crochet stitches around. If you really look close, you're seeing like maybe one to two stitches in each colorway. Here you're getting one green, one blue, a darker. Then I go to two of the red, one yellow. So I don't see any more than two stitches when you're working the single crochet when you're working the stitch pattern. So you can tell how short those color bursts are. So let me grab the end and then I can just show you the color burst. You can see they're not very long at all. This one I would say maybe four inches. And then here's the yellow, which is maybe a little bit shorter with the bright yellow. And then you can see where it adds that little touch of extra color where it changes over the other color. And then you're going into the purple. So you can see how long those color bursts are. So again, that was my second sample, and this was the Fun Brights color. So the next color I chose that was in stock in the store was this beautiful black, white, and gray. That is the color, and you can see that white, the gray, the black. And if you like those high contrasting contemporary colors, this is really pretty. So let me grab my sample. Now for this sample, I just did a regular V-stitch, very lacy on the bottom, and I did a half double crochet on top. Now this bottom portion down here where I did the lacy V-stitch, that was stitch of the week number 50. It's called the quick and easy V-stitch. Now this is what it looks like if you're changing colors every row. You can really see that V-stitch. Now with this variegated color, you can see how it's really hard to see that V-stitch. It's an open lace work, but even with the white behind it, a little harder to see the design. And it's one of those yarns where the yarn is taking away from the stitch pattern. When you're using this yarn, all you're going to see is the colors. It's really not going to give you any stitch definition. 
because your eye goes to the colors and not the stitches. So again, the bottom is a classic, just a regular quick and easy V-stitch. And then the top, I did a half double crochet. So when you're looking at this stitch sample, you can see that the bottom where the V-stitches are is the colors are distributed evenly all over the bottom portion. And then when you see where I switch to a half double crochet, you can almost see a vertical stripe pattern coming up those half double crochets. And again, it all depends on how wide your sample is, what stitch pattern you're using, if you're using really tall stitches, if you're using a short single crochet, and everything determines how that pattern's going to look. So you can get many different looks with some of these variegated yarns. Now, the reason when I do the yarn swatches and I do a lot of these variegated multicolors is because most of the time when you use a solid color you're going to know what that looks like but when you see these variegated yarns sometimes they look very beautiful you spend a lot of money especially when yarn is getting up there to be ten dollars a skein and you want to make an afghan and you purchase it thinking you're going to like it and then you don't like how that comes out that's why I'm tending to stick to some of these types of yarns to really give you an idea of what that yarn is going to look like. So that is my third sample and again this was the black, white, and gray color. So we have three more to go. The next color I chose I thought was very pretty. This is the purple multi and I just thought the colors of purple were exceptional. It just had the right combination of light, dark, and medium mixed with here's a speck of a brighter white here and then it almost has like a really light plum type grayish color and then it just has a beautiful look to it here again it looks like a little bit of gray mixed with white and those beautiful shades of purple and again that is the purple multi so let me grab my sample now this sample is going to have a little bit weird shape because I'm trying to work two different patterns to show you how differently a stitch pattern can look so the bottom portion of my sample is the primrose stitch. That was stitch of the week pattern number 249 and all these stitch of the week patterns are free patterns on my website creativegrandma.net. Just go to the website, click the banner that says stitch of the week and we have over 150 stitch patterns. You can download one, you can download them all and what's nice is when you print this out you can follow along with the video and it also helps you learn how to read the instructions as you're following along crocheting the stitch pattern. So okay the bottom was the primrose stitch and then I used single crochet across the top. So let me lift this up and give you a closer look. This is what it looks like done in the primrose stitch and you're going to notice I'm using those tall double crochet stitches. So again the color is evenly spaced because of those short color bursts and then if you are new to crocheting and the only stitch you know is single crochet, this is the look you're going to get when you single crochet. Now when I look at this, I also see this going diagonal across the top of the work when I'm working in single crochet. Now that again could change depending if you make it smaller. Say you're going to make a scarf, you might have bigger blotches, you might have smaller blotches. The design may change. If you're making a larger afghan, then again you're working those stitch and colors all the way over so the stitch pattern may change. So my suggestion is if you're not really sure about a yarn, then just buy one skein and if if you're really happy with it then go back and buy more to make your project because yarn at ten dollars a skein you really want to make sure you're going to like the project when you get it done so much work goes into handmade stitch
stitch items. Whether you crochet or whether you knit, I know that when I make an afghan or some of my projects, I have days and even weeks in some of my projects, and you want to make sure that you're going to like what you made when you get it finished. So this is the fourth color I chose, and again, this was called the Purple Multi. This next color I thought was so beautiful, and it's white and pastels with pink, yellow, blue, and that little bit of mint green. And this is called Pastels. Now, I really love this, and my first thought was this would make an excellent baby afghan. But then when I started working with it, again, when you look at this yarn and you look at all this fuzz, I do not recommend this. I would not use this for a baby afghan. Now, if I'm wrong, then anyone who has used this yarn, you can leave a comment and give us your opinion because I really haven't washed this yarn and tested it. But just looking at this fuzz, I would be so afraid a baby would get that in their mouth, especially when they like to play with stuff, if they pull it. And the first thing babies do is stick stuff in their mouth. So again, beautiful colorway, but me personally, I would never use this for a baby afghan, but that is just my opinion. And again, look at that fuzziness on this yarn. That would scare me. And I don't like to repeat myself. Uh, that's my opinion. Everyone has their own opinion. But please be careful when you choose a yarn for a baby afghan and just be cautious of certain things that may harm a baby. So I just needed to say that again. But beautiful, beautiful pastel colors. So let me grab my sample. Now in this sample, you can really see a difference in how this yarn worked up. In the bottom section, this is Stitch of the Week number 29. This is the easy Suzette or Thicket Stitch. So here it is on the top. You can see how that looks when you're changing colors every row. And again, these are free patterns on our website. And this again is the Easy Suzette Stitch on the bottom. I thought it was a very beautiful stitch. I think this would be beautiful as a sweater. If you like pastel colors and you just want something cozy and just fun to wear, beautiful, beautiful stitch pattern. I think it's a very beautiful stitch and I think this stitch pattern complements this yarn. Just the way the stitch is angled to the right on one row and then angle left on the next row just gives it a beautiful texture. The colors just go into the design wonderfully. And then when you look at the top, the top I worked double crochet stitches. And when you look, you can really see how differently that yarn looks when you're working those higher double crochet stitches. So you just have to figure out what stitch pattern you want to use with this yarn. So again, I just thought this was very, very beautiful pastel yarns. These are some of my favorite colors. So I think I would be happy with this in a sweater for myself. I just love bright, fun, happy colors. And this just really, I really thought this was one of my favorites out of the six colors I chose. And again, that was color pastel. The last color I chose is oatmeal. This is beautiful browns, a real light gray, almost with a touch of pastel blue in it. You get white, you get a creamy tan, just beautiful colors. So look at that yarn. And again, this is color oatmeal. So let me grab my sample. So here is my sample, and again, I did two different stitches. This bottom stitch is Stitch of the Week number 57. It's called the Loopy Stitch. And then I did the top in half double crochet. So again, you can see the difference in how those two stitch patterns work up. This is a very pretty lacy pattern down below. And then the top, you can see how that half double crochet works up. 
I do think the lacier patterns, when you're using those lacier patterns, I see how the colors just blend together really well. It's an all over effect. And then when you use a single or half double or double crochet, you can really see the short color burst and how it forms a completely different design. So that is the sample using the color oatmeal. So these are the six colors that I purchased at my Joann stores. And again, I paid full price. But if you take advantage of that doorbuster price, I'm not sure how long that doorbuster price is available online. If you purchase the yarn online, you get that 30% off doorbuster price. So that's a pretty good value. So thank you everyone for stopping by. I hope you're finding these yarn swatch videos helpful to try to really see what some of these yarns look like worked up. So if you like this video, please hit the like button and please make sure you leave a comment and tell me what you like or you don't like about this series. So until next time everyone, stay inspired and happy crocheting.